Assalamu alaikum viewers, it's your brother MUJ here at Sunnah Strength. So what is the biggest distraction when it comes to working out? Is it women? Could be. Is it the music at the gym? That's a possibility. Or is it your friends? Or even maybe when you're outside the gym, right? You want to watch the football, you want to go eat. Could they be distractions? Or it can also be you waiting for the equipment and you just get distracted and can't be bothered waiting, so you just walk out of the gym. So what could it be, guys? Stay tuned. I don't tussle with a whale. I don't handcuff lightning, throw thunder in things. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. So all these things mentioned, guys, can distract you when you are working out. Well, personally, the biggest distraction, I think, right, is your mobile phone, guys, right? Now, mobile phones have taken over our lives, guys. Put away the question how it distracts us at the gym and, you know, take it to your home, right? Or when you're outside, when you're walking in the streets, when you're going shopping. How many times do we go onto our mobile phone for no reason, just to scroll down on Facebook, just to scroll down on Instagram or whatever it is? How many times do we just go onto our phone just to see what's the latest app, what's the latest news, what's the latest um, games out? And we're wasting so much time on that, guys, right? And, you know, that time we could use for beneficial things, right? We may say, you know, what, I'm just going to go into it for a minute. That minute ends up being 5, 10, 15, an hour and even longer, guys, right? And we're just wasting that time. Now, going back to how it affects us at the gym, how it distracts us, guys. Now, I, the, you know, there are three valid reasons which I'm going to give you, look, right? Which are, I believe are fair point. But I'm going to give you alternatives which you could use and avoid these um, the mobile phones now this is something that i've seen and i've personally gone through it guys now these reasons i'll give you is one you may say you're using it to write down your reps and sets guys don't use your mobile phones to write down your reps and sets right buy yourself a pen and a paper we all know how to write on a paper right with you know we've got a pen probably a pound guys right buy that and write it on the pen um on the paper guys right or a notepad whatever it, you get right write it on that right because you know what would happen right when you're writing on your phone you know you're typing it away and then your fat fingers make a mistake guys you know you've got the wrong um letter in there so you have to delete write it again you might write um wrong thing again delete write it again and so on it's just wasting time guys when we pay about paper just write it down, guys, you know, and in the corner, you could even write if it was too heavy, if it was too light, if someone was on the equipment, or maybe you have an injury, so you couldn't do it, and so on, guys. So you could write it in more detail, right? So use the pen and paper for writing your sets and reps. Second reason could be, oh, I use it as a stopwatch. Buy yourself a watch, guys, right? Buy yourself a watch. If you don't have a watch, you don't want to wear a watch, or you don't like wearing watches, then use the clock at the gym. I'm sure every single gym that you go to has a clock, guys, right? So use that as a stopwatch. Third reason could be, oh, man, you know what? I use it to look at the exercises that I'm going to do because I'm not sure how to do it. Guys, when you go to the gym, right, you have your program. You want to look through that program beforehand, right? Not when you go into the gym and looking at the program. Look at it beforehand and scroll through it, right? And see which exercise you know how to do and which ones you don't know how to do. The ones that you don't know how to do, research, guys. Check on it before you go to the gym. And if you haven't got the time to do that, then when you go to the gym, ask a member of staff, right? The gym instructors or ask someone there that, you know, is working out as well to help you, right? Or even ask your friends, guys. People there will help you. There may be some that may not help you, but there are other people out there that will help you guys. So, and don't feel ever like, you know what? It's a dumb question, right? I, you know, it's a stupid question. I'm not going to ask them. Ask them, guys. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Ask them and they will be willing to help you guys, right? These reasons could, some people might throw out out there, right? So I've given you the alternatives. Use these things, guys. Because, um, you know, it will, you know, help you. It would reduce the time that you use on your mobile phones. Because one thing would happen guys is you know you're doing an exercise you're on your reps and so on right and then you get a phone call you put your weights down and you're on the phone that person on the phone might say you know what i just want to take two minutes of your time you agree to it and the next minute you know it's five minutes ten minutes fifteen twenty minutes right 
And then you put your phone down and your weights are gone, guys. Your dumbbells are gone. Either someone's just taking it without telling you or you've been on the phone and you're not bothered and just giving it away for that, you know, just giving it away, guys, right? So, you know, it won't allow you to reach your potential, guys. Another thing is, you know, you might be on your phone just to check, um, you know, it might be your rest period, right? And your rest period is a minute, okay? So you might think, you know what, in that minute, I'm just going to go into Facebook. In that minute, guys, you're not going to spend your minute on Facebook or Instagram, whatever it may be, guys, because you will exceed that minute, right? It'll end up in five minutes, ten minutes, and you'll be on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and playing games or something, the text message, WhatsApp, and everything, right? You do all that, and you won't be doing that in a minute, guys. You'll be doing it over ten minutes and so on, right? So, you know, it will distract you, right? Now, the whole aim for this video, guys, is for you guys to try and avoid taking your mobile phone at the gym. If you really need to, then obviously take it for emergency calls only, right? Um, uh, or if you, you know, you've kind of conquered the whole not using your mobile phone because you've got your pen and paper, you know what you're doing and, you know, then fair enough, right? Because that's now I me. Mean, I take my mobile phone in right now. But I only take it because I know I'm not going to go into Facebook and Instagram. And if I am going to go on them, it's only to record certain videos for you guys, right? To share it with you lot, to motivate you lot. And that's it. But I won't be going on there just for the sake of it. You know, I have my time for that. And I work out when I'm working out. That's it. That's the working out time. Okay. So, you know, try and avoid using your mobile phones at the gym, guys. It is a big distraction. You don't want to slow down your process. You don't want to give only 60% of your time onto it or work out onto it you want to give the 400 uh, percent guys right so there you have it guys i hope that has benefited you in many ways um of course guys please like comment and share the video and subscribe on youtube twitter instagram facebook until next time guys take a salam i have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything